There is a constant state of alert at Addis Ababa International Airport and it peaks when a flight arrives from China. After the first screening, the passengers pass through a so-called 360-degree X-ray machine, which detects body temperature. Passengers are also asked to fill health status forms and disclose where they have been during the past 14 days. At the time of landing, we will check uh, the temperature using the infrared thermal scanner. And again, uh, we have mass thermal uh, scanner using in uh, the Poland Trash Airport. And finally, we'll check again uh, with infrared thermal scanner when they are collecting their bags. In between, again, we have uh, passport checking, which is again uh, strict nowadays. The Bole International Airport in Addis Ababa is one of the busiest travel hubs in Africa. It's also the continent's main gateway to China. While many countries have restricted air services to China after the coronavirus outbreak, Ethiopian Airlines continues to operate 35 flights a week to five Chinese destinations. The airline has ignored pleas both from the Ethiopian public and some African countries to suspend its flights to China. We base our decision based on the, what the health officials tell us. The WHO t says it's okay, the uh, Ministry of Health of Ethiopia says it's okay. Now, when they say that, it's no more a health issue. So it becomes a business decision. And the business decision is that for us, it is a long-term uh, operation and we have 40% market share for travel between Africa and China. Even though no case of infection has been detected in Ethiopia until now, novel coronavirus, medically known as COVID-19, is a major concern here. 18 suspected cases were tested and found negative. 11 of them were sent to South Africa, while seven were tested within Ethiopia in a new laboratory specially equipped to the purpose with the help of the World Health Organization. An emergency center has also been set up where dozens of doctors and medical trainees are at work every day of the week, collecting data and studying ways to confront the virus. And this is perhaps one of the most vital services set up by the National Institute of Public Health. These hotlines manned 24 hours 7. They receive alerts and information related to suspected cases of coronavirus. They also provide information and advice for people in need. Doctors say they receive at least five infection rumors or fake alerts every day. One of the tasks of these men is to make sure no unwarranted panic spreads among the population. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa.